The brands we talk about, they have personalities, they have identities. These are really human characteristics. And if we talk about human characteristics, then it's really, motion really brings them all to life. What we see is like our digital lives and physical lives have merged. Um, brands are migrating to a purely digital realm. They're moving from one platform to the other. You know, they're from one device to the other. So to be really honest, uh, static is really, really not an option because they're always, always continuously moving. The brands we talk about, they have personalities, they have identities. These are really human characteristics. And if we talk about human characteristics, then it's really, motion really brings them all to life. But I make this, whatever, this kind of statement, but this was a big, big learning curve for the studio. I mean, we, you've seen the police and the Dutch uh, railways. These are quite, I would say, quite static uh, identities. And later on, we, do a, we did a lot of motion, but getting there took us quite a long time. We needed to learn from each other. So five, six years ago, we thought, okay, we need to learn more motion and understand it. And what we did was start up a lab in the studio and every month we'd come together and teach ourselves everything that we know now. And really like going tutorials on YouTube, there was one motion designer, he taught the rest of the team how to work on uh, different programs and vice versa. So we really experiment and try to bring motion into the way of thinking and way of doing. So just to show you how we went, a few of our experiments um, and how we defined motion. First things first is appearance. Like, what does it look like? Like how, and I'm not showing to this because the next few pieces, because it's great work, but more to understand, we needed to understand the materials we were working with. Like simple things in After Effects, just things moving and really teaching us like each other, like, okay, how do you use this program? How do you uh, look at the tactility of a screen? Like what materials do you use? Um, you know, like here, for example, it imitates something that is, uh, doesn't feel uh, digital or looking at the parameters of the screen, like how the edges, it's not only what you have in the screen, but how does it interact with each edge or other programs? Um, this is in cavalry, uh, experimenting with a type of program or here with processing, how does typography interact? How do we um, maybe draw with images? So all different aspects of motion, but motion is not only appearance. It's of course, it's behavior. Like what, how does that movement really show the characteristics of who you are? You know, how every person moves says something about who they are. You know, like some people walk like this and some people are more lively with their hands. So that is, of course, that is also uh, motion. So for this, for example, this is a Dutch uh, um, channel and it's all about bringing the program closer to the people. So it was like, so when we designed it, it's always has that movement that comes closer or, um, this is the brand for the Netherlands and one of their key words was growth. So you see a little bit that moving, the, the moving upwards. So in everything that we built uh, for the whole identity had that upward uh, movement. And of course, sound also defines behavior because I think, I think we always say motion brings something you know, brand to life, but uh, sound really gives it a meaning of why it acts that way. So for example, for Spotify, uh, music and talk, it had that rhythm in the uh, logo. And then comes the tools. When you take the, the tools you use, and it doesn't matter what tool you use, um, and you make it your own, you can also bring in your own voice. You know, if you, everybody uses a pencil in this exactly the same way, I think that you will get the same results. And it doesn't matter whether it's um, digital or um, 
or not, that it's, it's really, you just make it your own. So, for example, even by taking something simple, like scrolling, you create uh, a motion that belongs to you. And don't, you don't need to use fancy whatever programs. Any, I mean, if it moves, it's mo I mean, it's a motion. Or even things like this, where we um, recorded our uh, desktops. And here, again, creating movement. So these are other uh, alternative ways of looking at motion. Um, you know, recording our Excel sheets, you know, I know it's a horrible uh, thing, but that also creates um, uh, movement. This is just our planning for a particular project. But from there, and from there, taking this idea into further customizing tools um, that we can make them and, and deliver them means that you can really give a unique answer to whoever, to who you're working for. And this Again, another example, this uh, for um, ING Bank, and it was all about exchanging knowledge. So this tool was able to show this, uh, create this e exchange. And here was a clock that we made. So it's a real, it actually works in real time, just with the idea of this uh, exchange of particles. If it doesn't move, there is no life. And that I think is really important to how we are looking at brands and identities these days.